I don't think it gets any cuter than this. Puppies covered in puppy mush. Hey guys, Kat here from Standing Stone, and I wanna to talk to you about supplementing puppies and starting puppy mush. If you've been following along with Quest's litter, you will know that we've had some struggles with puppy weight gain, so we've been bottle feeding and supplementing, as well as with Quest and having some mastitis. So puppies are three weeks old today. Typically, I don't start supplementing with puppy mush until closer to four weeks, unless we have a situation like this where puppies are maybe not gaining as well as I would like, even though they are having good gains now with multiple supplementing sessions a day, um, as well as Quest, you know, had struggled with mastitis, so her milk production is a little down just because of what she's been struggling with health-wise as well. So this is just going to help those puppies thrive, get a little bit extra that they need, and we're starting that at three weeks old. So a couple things to consider is, We've been supplementing with bottles and we utilize a liquid formula for that and a bottle. Now we're gonna be switching to a puppy mush and I like to use a powdered puppy um, milk replacer. I use the S Black Second Step. Um, and then I'm gonna be blending up their kibble, their Puppy Pro Yukonuba food, um, very, very fine. This transition will happen over the next few weeks where we go from almost a complete liquid soupy mush to lots of kibble chunks in it to completely hard dry kibble before they go home. So it is a process of changing that formula um, and it also depends on their age and their development and how many puppies you have. So I can't tell you, you will start your puppy mush with this much formula, this much food, and this much water because you may have a litter of four puppies where I have a litter of 10 puppies. You may have a different breed of puppy. I have German short hair pointers. So things that we're considering as well as the age of the puppies. They're obviously gonna continue to need more food as they get older, as well as we're going to offer them multiple puppy mush sessions um, as they get older as well. So. Today is day one. I'm gonna show you how I'm making their puppy mush and they're going to get offered a supplement, a puppy mush session once a day. Whereas they were bottle feeding previously two sessions in the morning and two bottle sessions in the evening. And they were drinking for all of those puppies about one can, um, which is approximately 12 ounces per supplementing session. Um, so now we're gonna be transitioning to some more food. And then if they do really well with this today, I don't wanna just, pour the food to them immediately because all of these changes can really affect their digestion. You know, it's all different. We've been, you know, mama's milk as well as formula. And now we're gonna be adding puppy kibble. So all of this can upset GI. So watch for some loose stools, things like that. That doesn't mean your puppies are unhealthy. It just means their gut is reacting and adjusting to their new food source. Um, as well as they're gonna obviously continue to supplement with mom, or not supplement, but nurse with mama. So let me show you how I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna open up this brand new bag. Once you open this, it has to be refrigerated. So I'm gonna start with one cup of my milk replacer. Um, and this is not an exact science where I have to sift this in and level it off with a knife or anything like that, but approximately one cup of this. And then I'm going to get my puppy kibble ready. I'm going to use one cup of the Yukonuba Puppy Pro. And I'm going to finely blend that. I've used lots of different blenders over the years. And because of so many puppies that we do end up doing puppy mush and litter with, litters with, um, I switched to using a Ninja. It's just held up a lot better um, than some of the cheaper Hamilton Beach brands and things like that that I'd been using before from Walmart basically had to replace those every couple litters. This one has lasted many, many litters. So what we need to do with this is make it very, very, very fine. This is gonna be loud, so. Okay, so this needs to be really, really fine. No hard kibbles because these puppies at three weeks old barely have any little bumps for teeth right now. So they are not gonna be crunching, they are not gonna be chewing yet. So once I get that really, really finely blended, 
I'm gonna put this in the saucer pan. This works really well when you start offering puppy mush to puppies because they can all get around this pan. It's pretty shallow. They're probably gonna put their little paws in it. Um, and before I add my water and my formula, I'm just gonna check and see if I see any big hard kibble pieces because even though that does a really good job blending it, we don't want puppies choking or anything. So if I feed, find a few bigger pieces, I'm gonna take those out. I'll add my puppy milk replacer. So right now I'm one to one of dry ingredients and then I'm going to start with my water. And typically I start with uh, double the amount of water as dry ingredients when I'm getting this to be very, very soupy. So, And I start with really warm water so everything dissolves really well. And as you're doing this, you may find, again, some of those bigger chunks float to, the, float to the top. You want to strain those out, too, of those kibble pieces. But at this stage in the game, the puppies are going from nursing off of a bottle to, in essence, we want them lapping up a little bit thicker than just straight liquid, but it can't be too thick because they're just learning how to swallow and eat when we introduce puppy mush. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little more water because I want this to be pretty soupy. And as your puppy mush sets here, it will continue to absorb that water into that puppy kibble that's finely ground and it will look less and less soupy as it absorbs all of that. So this will be pretty good here, but I wanna get it really well mixed in. Okay, come on in and look at how soupy this looks. And then we'll go get set up for puppies. Okay, so I just pulled Quest out because otherwise she thinks this sounds like a very appetizing meal as well. So I'm gonna start getting puppies out. They're playing, some are playing, some are sleeping. And start kind of edging them around the edge. And this is pretty typical where they might sniff it and maybe not be super interested yet. They're not sure. This is their first opportunity with puppy mush. And sometimes, oh, you're getting feisties, huh? I'll let them kind of figure it out. And a lot of times this gets very messy because they just dive right in. And um, I've got a pad under here to give them a little bit of traction, but they still do a little bit of slipping and sliding, especially when they're this young because they're just up wobbling around and starting their playing process. They haven't even really figured out their legs too much yet. So to stand around their puppy dish is difficult. And the rest of you guys are sleeping, so I'm going to have to wake these guys up. Pretty common for them to get covered in puppy mush and they may end up start licking it off of each other's faces and their paws as they're figuring this out in the beginning. They stick their whole faces right in it. Honestly, at three weeks, like I mentioned, this is usually a little on the young side that we're starting this, but I'm trying to help mama and these puppies out to thrive since we're having to supplement as much as we are. Um, usually when they're four weeks old, they have a little more coordination. They aren't as messy as this to begin with. Here we go, guys. Just keep help moving them around into the open spots. Let them focus on the food in front of them. There we go. Who's back here? Who's hiding behind me? And we're going to just walk through the food. That works too. Just 
Just try and keep them focused. I'm gonna be messy too after this on what's in front of them here. Come here, baby. <laughs> you are literally laying in your dish. Let's get out of there. But they're doing a really good job at three weeks already. Interested in the puppy mush. They may not be great at eating it out of the saucepan yet, but they are definitely interested and excited to start lapping this up and licking it up, which is great. There we go. Oh, goodness. You're just laying in it. Let's get out. I'm going to help you get out of the middle of the saucepan again. If I've got anybody that sounds really like they got a nose full, I'm going to help wipe faces, things like that. Clear their nose, nose is off a little bit, but they're sneezing it out pretty good. And we are definitely going to have to, after Quest gets in here and starts cleaning up puppies, we'll help her out as well, get these guys unmushified and so it doesn't dry into a crusty little puppy mess. I don't think it gets any cuter than this. Puppy's covered in puppy mush. Are you a little bit food drunk here? Yeah. These guys are getting nice, taut little bellies. I can feel them all getting a lot of food in. I'm rubbing on my shirt. But they're all eating really good, getting nice full bellies. Oh yeah, messy messies. So they're slowing down and as you can see what's left of this puppy mush, there's not a lot. They did a great job. This was a good starting place for this many puppies at this age. Um, and I would expect we're gonna do once a day today and tomorrow and then we'll evaluate how they are doing, finishing up what they're offered and then we may switch to twice a day feedings. And all of that just really depends on how well they're eating and their body condition and how well they're gaining. It will be something that I want to show you. Let me just grab somebody and see if we can show you what I'm talking about as far as three week old puppy teeth. So when you're feeling in their teeth, I don't really feel anything on the bottom yet, just little bumps where teeth are going to come in and I can feel some little teeth on the top that are just barely coming through the gum line. There we go. Okay guys, let's get you cleaned up, huh? Okay, now that these guys have completely finished what they're going to, we're gonna let Quest come in. She's like, I don't really know. Let me just get in my box and I'm gonna start moving puppies in for her to clean them up. I know, mama, they are a mess. I will help you, baby girl. They're a little bit cold and shivery because they're covered in puppy mush and wet. So we're going to get them and complaining. So we're going to get them in with mama. She's going to start licking them clean. And then I'm going to end up helping clean them up as well and clean myself up and the mess that they've left. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you if you have to start puppy mush with your puppies a little earlier than normal so that you know what to expect. I'm Kat the dog trainer. We'll see you in the next video.